hidden in this ordinary street in Lille, France, we find the birthplace of former French army officer and statesman, Charles de Gaulle. Let's go back in time and see if he's home. We enter the house in Le Petit Salon, where above the original sofa, we find the portrait of de Gaulle's grandfather, Jules Mallot. He was the owner of this house and as a factory owner, he belonged to the wealthier bourgeoisie. In the large salon, we find the place for entertainment and where he worked. Although Charles was born here, he lived in Paris since he was three months old. Charles' father, Henry D. Gaulle, worked there as a history and Latin teacher. Before that, he was a soldier and fought in the Franco-Prussian War. During the holidays, he and his wife Jean returned with the children to her parental home in Lille, where the table was of course festively laid. Next to the dining room, we find the Winter Garden, a glass room that was a sign of luxury in many 19th century bourgeois houses. His sister Marie Agnes once said that as a child, Charles was already in charge of the French troops here with toy soldiers and sidelined his nephews. From the dining room, we enter the kitchen where Mrs. Melot employed a cook and a maid. Next to the kitchen, we find the original entrance of the house with a luxurious high ceiling and marble appearance. Upstairs, we find the private rooms of the house. In addition to the box bed, Grandma had a large and luxurious room with even a separate prayer room. Every day, Julia got ready behind the dresser and folding screen to attend Mass at the St. Andre Church before seven o'clock. We then enter the guest room where six-year-old Charles stayed in the winter of 1896 because his brothers and sister in Paris had scarlet fever. And can you imagine that a French president at the age of 17 studied at this table to pass his high school exam. The adjacent lingerie was a status symbol in the 19th century and is one of the three rooms that was restored in 2020. And do we see here the cradle of the future French president? Although the exact location of the baby's room is still up for debate, the last room of the house seems to be the most logical place. And with that we conclude the visit to this perhaps most special 19th century house in France. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.